I have got Orange Phoenix with me, and uh, I just I just spoke to him, so I know he's here. I am here. Yes. Yay! Hello. Hello. That worked. Excellent. And this is a picture of Orange Phoenix's avatar in game, which is this? which is good because he takes good pictures and that. Like, do you have any kind of tips on that you can tell people about how how you can draw figures like this? Because I, yeah, can't do it. I just cannot do it. There's there's a bunch of rules you can follow, but I don't always follow them particularly. I like you're supposed to start planning the top and the bottom, and then you kind of work out where the middle is, like you, you, the top of the head and the bottom of the feet, and then halfway down is like hips, and then uh, halfway between the hips and the head is like armpits boob height and then you've got knees in between the hips and the feet and that's like quartering it and that sort of helps you work out proportionally so you don't get some kind of weird caricature type character yeah but, i often end up with a big fat head the head is bigger the head is bigger than you you, you you know especially in but if you do it massive it's going to look like a kid because kids have big heads <laughs> they, they do. <laughs> you're right yeah you're right um but yeah and i think a lot of it is just drawing circles and then squaring off the circles i tend to draw everything using circles at the start if i can and then just just uh and then just try and make geometric shapes from them yeah <laughs> that, 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 <laughs> but it's amazing i it. love love seeing you know like we're watching just now just the way when you start doing the textures here of the oh, the, yeah. the ground the and how the surface they have improved planetary textures oh, oh yeah like the, the fact that you know like you're covering footprints currently in the the the, the, the drawing just now and you know just you can change yeah, uh, uh, yeah you that, can it's so evocative isn't it yeah the, the, the just walking about can change an image that you're about to take a picture of and um, sometimes for the negative because you want it to make it look like you've just walked onto the scene and you're like oh damn it i, I took two steps to the left and you can see it oh no <laughs> it's moved to another spot sort of thing but even even before odyssey with the tire tracks in srvs you know that mm -hmm. great big slew of red you'd be able to carve across a white planet that, that oh, it yeah. always was pleasing making your mark and then showing that well, the, 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 that reminds me of SPVFA, we ended up uh, having a winner to one of our competitions and it was uh, Alec Turner oh. and he'd, ri he'd <laughs> written SPVFA with <laughs> only Alec Turner could actually yeah. manage to write something perfectly in the ground with tyre tracks. <laughs> You'd want to know what font he used and, and, and about things, wouldn't you? Because um, I've I've tried it as well, and you kind of have easy. to. You've got to I've hop it. it. You, even really try to do hard. an O, oh, yeah, <laughs> it's so difficult. Um, but he's got the like the full SPVFA perfectly oh, written. Yeah. So, well, so if good. anyone can drive an SRV, yes, indeed. Well, indeed. forwards for long periods of time. <laughs> for long, long periods of time. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Oh, no, it's um, cool. I mean, I'm I am loving the the experience of being on planets then looking at the textures and and the the, the the just the surfaces that and the colors in the sky i'm i i really enjoy nebulas because you, all the different colors of chalk i can put on but with the skies now that the, the, the these atmospheres they're just just so so varied and they're just wonderful i really really love in the atmospheres yeah, I've I've been kind of messing around with trying to see how their how nebulas are affected and what different atmospheres will give different colours versus the star in, in the system. Yeah, that, that's, that's something I've been trying to research. Not it's sort of brilliantly, unfortunately. Yeah, I'll let you say that. <laughs> yeah, that's the one. What? Yeah, with, with the gases. But. Um, but like the recent CG, obviously being out, uh, kind of Orion with very close to Barnards and Running Man and whatnot. Yeah, yeah. So I, I that, was that nebula out there at Barnards when for the recent CG, that that was beautiful. That red, mm -hmm. yes, really the, the, the rich, the rich red, yeah. yeah. Um, and I did take a trip out to Heart and Soul um, as soon as I got my hands uh, on this PC yeah, with, with Odyssey. Different? It's a lot more vivid. Oh. But currently, I, I don't know if it's been remedied recently, but currently it's a bit pixelated. Uh, like the, uh, funnily enough, with the Orion, the Orion uh, area for the recent CG, I was actually doing it on Xbox and PC simultaneously for the oh. CG. So you were seeing um, different things. Exactly. So I'm, I'm in exactly the same spot, the same site, facing the same direction on both of them and looking at the nebula and the nebula looks so much better in Odyssey so so Does much it? better in Odyssey. That is good news, that is good news and I kind it of expected it to be. It looked actually, pixelated. part of it looked like it was very pixelated in Horizons versus Odyssey. Oh. So it, it, once again I think the recent changes since I'd been out to Heart and Soul have remedied 
what I'd, I'd witnessed the first time around, but I have, you know, heart and soul's a, a fair distance away, so I haven't been back out there. Yeah, not, not somewhere you live. Back out there yeah. since. It's the the detailing that I'm I'm noticing that's that's really sort of catching my eye as a photographer. I don't know about you as a as an yeah, artist. Yeah, no. In your, in 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 your Facebook page, I noticed the other week somebody posted a close up of fabric, and I was just completely. I don't know whether it was actually. It might not have been in that. It was, but it was a close up. It could have been on Twitter. Could have been anywhere. <laughs> it I could have been just anywhere, seen someone yeah. in Tesco. No, I'm fairly certain it was a game shop of just a close-up of a commander in their, in their suit and just the, the quality of the difference between the leather and the canvas and the, the, the plastic surface of the different outfit parts. Yeah, the, the sort of weave, yeah. the, the texture of the weave I've noticed yeah. in, in a few of uh, my shots and other people's shots and that patch that where the jetpack technically goes is like mm. so glossy and particularly yeah. since the, the recent update the, the most recent one patch five the the glossiness is just wow really really cool yeah. you can almost see your full reflection in it so like if i've got uh, your picture was really kind of like i don't know what the composition of this atmosphere was but it was kind of purple pink and the, the uh, ice like whatever that surface is made from the salts and the ice on that surface are reflecting that pinkish white purpley atmosphere back and i just just thought i'll use pink paper for this <laughs> uh, somebody asked oh what what type of atmosphere was that and i'm like oh actually oops i don't know if i remember exactly what it was i'm sure it was oxygen and something and it was a, an icy body but you know, i love this game and you obviously love this game. Oh yeah, and no, I mean, and, I and everyone finds something different to do in the game. And I love that it's that versatile as a game that you can yes. do what you damn well please. And everyone's experience of the game is so different. With myself, we were talking loosely about this uh, earlier. I, I try and do a bit of everything in mm. the game. Um, kind of mercenary when it comes to the combat. I'll help somebody with BGS, then I'll go off and do a bit of combat myself, a bit of bounty hunting or whatnot. Then I'll disappear off in a little exploration or a big exploration, depending on how I feel. Then I've got Sagittarius Eye making me put yeah. the photojournalist hat on, saying, right, we need pictures of this, 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 this. Light years away. <laughs> yeah. yeah, variety is the spice of life and it certainly applies in Elite. I am um, actually cheating here on this picture. You know, I like to copy, I do like to copy, but this the shadow is a bit cheaty. This is not what the shadow looked like in your photo. Yeah, but the, yeah, the artistic license. Yeah, I, I, it really is. Yeah, because the, the shadow is kind of an oval. <laughs> it was attached it, to the feet, though. It, yeah, the feet it, were it, on the ground. But the, 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 but yeah. see, this the, this is particularly the bit in your drawing that I'm sitting here because this is where it kind of comes to life, in, in my opinion, because it. With all that contrast suddenly yeah, creeping in, and it's, like, is that pre-planned in your head? You got this to bit. do the bits that you're not going to put your hand on last, so you got to do the the bits that can tolerate having as me put my like a bit of pressure my cardigan on it. <laughs> so <laughs> if I can't, I, I don't. I wouldn't do the star until right at the end because if I've got to do the star, it's got to be in pale yellow or white, and I know that I'm just going to the dust of the chalk is just going to muck that up. So you've got to do some bits last, which is why the, the reflection of the light on the ice or whatever that is, the salt flats or the ice. Anyway, right. I think, I think, I think we have sat through that video.